Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers again. So it's been so long we had made a content video, but right now here we are again. So we are going to start this ZAT edition from now, uh, from today. If you are preparing for ZAT and also for IFT, in fact, these are some must do questions. We will try to increase the frequency. This is your response. अगर आप लोगों को वीडियो पसंद आती है तो प्लीज अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करना उन्हें बताना चैनल के बारे में दैट इज अनफ मोटिवेशन फॉर अस एंड सेकंड थिंग इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज एक कमेंट जरूर कर देना बिकॉज व्हेन यू कमेंट द यूट्यूब रियली अंडरस्टैंड एंड अप्रिशिएट्स द चैनल तो आपका एक कमेंट बहुत ही बढ़िया रहेगा मेरे लिए एंड इट विल बी रियली यू नो अप्रिशिएटिंग टूवर्ड्स अस राइट सो प्लीज डू दैट एंड बिफोर वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे राइट आई होप यू आर डूइंग दीज थिंग्स practice and practice more and more practice on our facebook and all the links are given on our telegram group so just you don't miss anything right hamara facebook agar aap apne join nahi kiya hua to aap join kar lo just look for quantifiers or you can join with the link given in the description secondly jo hum daily links dalte hain facebook pe aur telegram group mein wo aap directly apne whatsapp inbox mein bhi uh, receive kar sakte hain right you can fill the form uh, the link given in the whatsapp and you have to text your name and email address at this number 9988656560 apna naam aur email dalna you will start receiving the links in your inbox right and third just in case if you are someone who is preparing for cat 2021 right now is the time to pre book your cat slot at a lower price at what it will be offered right for any queries you can again text at the same number okay uh, uh, let's see what the questions are now the first question that the questions are from uh, algebra basically right so let's see what the question is it says which of the following is a possible value for x square plus 6x plus 3 cos y plus 4 sin y plus 30 x square plus 6x plus 3 cos y plus 4 sin y plus 30 now when we are talking about possible value एक चीज तो ये हो सकती थी कि मैं ऑप्शंस यूज करके आई इक्वेटेड टू 11 13 एंड सम ट्राई टू ब्रेक इट और मेक इट राइट सेकंडली आई कैन सी दैट इट कैन बी अ इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन यस x2 प्लस 6x x को मैं जितना मर्जी बड़ा रखता जाऊं इट विल गिव कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द वैल्यू फॉर मी राइट तो अपर तो कोई लिमिट ही नहीं आ रही मेरे पास सो व्हाट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी लेट अस थिंक दैट कि मिनिमम वैल्यू क्या होगी ठीक है द वन वे टू लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम वैल्यू नाउ व्हेन आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम वैल्यू Don't mix things. This is a constant. ये तो यही रहने वाला है ए साइन एक्स प्लस बी साइन एक्स वॉट इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस दिस इज ऑलवेज इट इज ग्रेटर देन दिस एंड हेयर ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर राइट मैक्सिम मिनिमम की रेंज ये होती है वॉट इफ द कॉफिशियंट आर ए एंड बी सर बी कॉस एक्स ए साइन एक्स बी कॉस एक्स ओके ना एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स सिक्स ये तो वैसे ही क्वाड्रेटिक है अपने पास राइट आई कैन फाइंड द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स सिक्स सिंपली राइट हाउ कैन आई डू दैट नाउ आई आई कैन आल्सो यूज़ द डेरी आई कैन आल्सो यूज़ द डेरिवेटिव राइट सॉरी आई कैन आल्सो यूज द डिफ्रेंशिएशन और आई कैन यूज द मिनिमम वैल्यू अकर्स एट माइनस बी अपॉन टू दैट वुड बी अ वेरी ईजी टास्क फॉर एनी क्वाड्रेटिक ऑफ द फॉर्म ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द मिनिमम वैल्यू either i can differentiate or i can say that the minimum value occurs at minus b upon 2a i just will substitute this here and i will find the result so now let me try for this part for x square plus 6x the minimum value would be minus b any minus 6 upon 2a any 2 i will substitute minus 3 here if i substitute minus 3 here minus 3 square plus 6 into minus 3 so 9 Minus eighteen. The minimum value of this expression x square plus six x is going to be minus nine. So let me write minus nine here. Plus three cos y plus four sin y. Its minimum value is how much? Minus three square plus four square. Here will be three cos y plus four sin y. And here will be your three square plus four square. It is going to lie between this. Right. So uh, the minimum value of this is going to be minus five. Right. Minus nine plus minus five plus thirty is going to be a constant. That is as it is. So I have basically three minimum value nikal li quadratic ki cos y sin y ki aur iski. So minus fourteen plus thirty sixteen. So sixteen is the minimum value this expression can attain. 
which means out of these possible options 11 13 9 and 5 are not even possible so only one possible value that is 16 which is our required answer now a very uh you know conceptual yet tricky question a perfect zat level question i hope you have understood the concept okay let's let's see the second question it says a shopkeeper who for, who sells only apple oranges and coconuts is offering a strange scheme to his customers the scheme is as follows if the customer buys at least one item of the three types of fruit so let's say orange uh, apple orange and coconut so if he's buying at least one one of all the items the price to be paid for all the fruits of that type combined that type combined is inversely proportional to the number of uh, fruits of that uh, kind purchased and is directly proportional to the total number of fruits purchased okay so the price aapne dena hai wo do cheezon pe combine karega do cheezon pe aapka affect karega let's say isne x ye khareede y oranges khareede aur z ye khareede so because hame diya hua hai which is to buy at least one fruit of each kind and minimum price he has to pay so we have to minimize the equation of the minimum price right so what is the minimum price he is going to pay for only apples the minimum price is price is inversely proportional to 1 by x price is inversely proportional to 1 by y inversely proportional to 1 by z so when is when is going to uh, pay for this then hame diya hua hai the price of paid for all the fruits of that type is inversely proportional to the number of fruits of that kind purchased so basically for this the price is inversely proportional to 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z so this is the inversely proportional part okay combined price right okay and okay okay and it also depends upon it also depends upon directly about total number of fruits so it depends upon total number of fruits like this so basically if i use both of them i am getting x plus y plus z into 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z and if i remove this proportionality i'll get an equal to right and here will be a k now this k is the 50 this k is 50 the k is 50 the hour hame right constant so basically this k is 50 now i need to find the minimum value of this right i can very well see that this can be of the type average or this can form a type hm right am hm rule use kar sakte hain hamare paas kya hota hai wo arithmetic mean is always greater than equal to geometric mean which is always greater than equal to harmonic mean so if i apply this here arithmetic mean would be x plus y plus z by 3 which is greater than equal to now harmonic mean would be 3 upon 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z so is the what i am getting i am getting that x plus y plus z into 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is greater than equal to 3 into 3 9 so the minimum value this can hold is 9 so the minimum cost he has to pay is 50 into 9 in 450 so 450 is the minimum cost that he has to bear and he has to pay for this and this is our required result right so i hope you have understood the explanation if you did please do subscribe to our channel right and we will return with the new video very shortly thank you so much guys have a great day